season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Boston Celtics. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. And that's right, NBA fans. It's a brand new season. Go. Day one is upon us, and we've got some great games for you. Kevin, one of my favorite days of the year. These fans have waited all summer to see their teams back in action. And you can feel the joy throughout the league. And Cassell, just a great sense for when to pull up. A high IQ guy with a smooth shot off the dribble. Now, here's Walker. Hands it from downtown. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Cassell. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone Defensively, you gotta love that energy. Johnson outside, four on the shot clock. They get the rebound, and it's Johnson with the jam. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board and the bucket. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff, too. My goodness. Hard work on the offensive glass always does that. I mean, his fans will remember the dunk, but the coaches love the rebound. Bucks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Allen passes to Johnson. Over Delp. Johnson can't hit. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. To the left wing. Lots of room. Eyes again. And Walker with the layup. Walker's got his second basket of the night. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Here's Cassell. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Here's Bremer, pass to Delp. There's Walker with the three, and the three ball is good. Walker's got eight points. And, and you know, Walker is really reliable as a catch-and-shoot guy because he's thinking shot even before the pass gets there. Here's Cassell. Here's Allen. And it's good off the back rim and in. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Here's Pierce, fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Great poise and agility. You knew Pierce would get that to fall. The Celtics shooting their first free throw of the game here. Pierce so efficient at the offensive end. They call him the truth because he's known for making big shots at big times. Here's Cassell. Johnson inside. Shoots a fader. And he uses the glass on the way. Johnson's got his second bucket of the game to go. And, and getting after it on the offensive glass and adding to that early total with the putback. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. The putback doesn't go that time. Now the Bucks take it the other way. This, of course, being game one of the season is their first look at the Celtics. 
you know, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Yeah, plenty of opportunity here, guys, to get on each other's bad side. I mean, if they weren't already. Could make for some fairly high drama. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. One shot. good from Cassell and you know Sam Cassell is about as reliable as it gets guys I mean he's an excellent scorer who does a nice job running the offense and doesn't shy away from big moments either here's Jelp still getting warmed up offensively no scoring yet from him Baker with the bucket and a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence here's Cassell pass to Kukoc The pass to Allen. There's the three. The shot's good. Cassell making the play. Allen's got five. And this is Allen's go-to shot. Just a sensational shooter from the three-point line. Delp, the pass to Walker. Here's Cassell. He has five. Milwaukee with the ball. Red passes to Kukoc. Johnson with a screen on Pierce. Kukoc can't get it to go. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Left side, Walker. And it's blocked. Nice job that time by Kukoc using the wingspan to get a hand on it. Red shot is right there. And the Celtics with possession here. They trail by three. Here's Bremer. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Boston again missing. Here's Cassell. Here's Johnson, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Pierce's shot is good. Love the mid-range shot of Pierce, man. And it is so consistent and reliable and fundamentally sound. Easily gets it off. Here's Cassell. Five points in the game. Passes it to Allen. Let's the three fly. Johnson. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. What hustle on the offensive glass. Finding ways to capitalize. Paying off that hard work. Here's Bremer. Here's for three. Phil coach with the rebound. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And then Allen slams it in. And Allen, one of the most decorated scorers of all time. Love watching him work on offense and be rewarded for his efforts. Here's Delp. Here's Bremer. A three-pointer off the mark. Surveying the D. Pass to Cassell. Johnson with a screen on Walker. Six to shoot. Kukoc from outside. That falls. Great assist by Sam Cassell. Cassell's got four assists in the game. Kukoc, a reliable shooter off the catch. He's got a nice, sweet lefty stroke. And now, the first time out called here for Boston.
And some changes here for the Bucks. Effie, he's checked in for Johnson. Thomas comes in for Kukoc. And now he's subbed in for Cassell. Pass to Bremer. Outside, Walker. Tipped away. It's stolen by Allen. One on one here. Over Pierce. Allen's shot is off. And it's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Celtics. Eight point game to the left side wing. Here's McCarty. Outside, Walker. Five on the clock. Looking to end the run. Nice. Four for seven from the four with that shot. Flashing that long-distance shooting ability. The D must get out there on Walker at the three-point line. Here's Ollie. Allen outside. A three ball. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Here's Bremer. No points in the game yet for him. It's Pierce on the wing, defended by Allen. And the Celtics, another three. Yeah, and how about Pierce there? Immediately squares himself up from outside, always prepared to rise and fire. Now, here's Thomas. Here's Ollie. Kicks it to Allen. That doesn't go either for Allen. McCarty the pass to Pierce. Here's McCarty. The pass to Walker. Over Thomas. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And now just a three-point Milwaukee lead. Milwaukee's gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. Here's Ollie. Michael Red is on the wing. Allen outside over Pierce. That's good from Allen on the assist by Michael Red. Allen's got 12 in the game. You know, guys, we often talk about players when they get hot, you just can't stop them. Allen, too athletic there and too good a shooter, too. Walker's shot is off. Bucks leading by five. Allen passes to Allen. It's Thomas outside. A three-pointer is right on target. For a big man with great touch from deep, always a valuable commodity in today's game. Pass to Walker. He kicks it to Pierce. This one for three. The rebound by the Bucks. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point lane. And for three, and another three for Milwaukee. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Carr, he's checked in for Baker. Celtics trail by 11. Outside, Pierce. Outside, Walker. It's Pierce on the wing. To end the run. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And when your mechanics are as strong as Pierce's, putting up a quick shot is not that hard. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc. And so far, they are hitting at a high clip. They're also doing a really good job on the offensive boards, bagging their own groceries, doing whatever it takes to get those second chance points. Milwaukee leading by eight. We've got 128 left to play in the first quarter. Tries it from 19. Red misses. Celtic shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Here's Bremer. 
He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Puts it up from 12. And there are the Celtics with another basket. It doesn't take much for Walker to get on a roll. But right now, boy, he is cooking. Pass to Allen. Three-pointer. He can't hit that time. So the Celtics will take it the other way. 41 seconds left in the first quarter. Outside, Pierce. No good there off the double clutch. Milwaukee leading by six. Here's Ollie. Thomas is screen on Pierce. Red outside, and so it's the Milwaukee Bucks. With a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be right back after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. When you consider how the Bucks are doing, what do you guys think? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. Celtics trail by six. Pass to McCarty. Up top, Walker. Headed by Kukoc. Out left to the wing. Puts one up from 19. A nice shot by Delk. Delk's got his first basket of the night. Milwaukee leading by four. Here's Ollie. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Johnson, he's checked in for Caffey. the Bucks with possession here. They've led by as many as 11 points. Ollie, good. Yeah, and what you love about Kukos is the versatility on offense and, and the terrific court vision. Now the pass to McCarty. Knocked loose. Johnson with it. He's picked up by Walker. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Celtics trail by six. Here's McCarty. Passes it to Bremer. Outside, Walker. Here's Delk. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Delk's got his second basket of the night. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Pass to Kukoc. Shot clock at six. Johnson with a screen on Walker. Rejected by Walker. Here's Bremer. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Carr with a screen on Thomas. Here's McCarty. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Over to the left wing. Here's Cassell. Five points in the game. 
kicks it to Thomas, launches it, throws it from outside. Thomas got six points. And that's just too much space to give a shooter like him. He works to get open, but the defenders have to work harder to nullify that. Carr with a screen on Thomas. McCarty, no good. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Here's Cassell. Here's the two-drop. It's deflected. Here's Bremer. He's covered by Cassell. Bremer passes to McCarty. There's Walker with the three. Scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Here's Ollie, right wing. Here's Cassell. And another three for Milwaukee. Greg, you know, the Western Conference has been dominant the past few seasons. How long do you see that going on? Well, the Lakers and Spurs don't seem to be going away anytime soon. And Dallas is only getting better. The balance of power right now definitely leads to the West. Against contact, Walker can still be very effective. He can beat you a lot of different ways. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And for, as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. Boston making a switch here. Baker's checked in. Antoine Walker possesses great versatility for a big guy. Excellent at stretching the floor with his shooting. And a big man who does a lot of different stuff on offense. Here's Cassell. He's got eight. Shoots from the line. The rebound by Baker. Baker's got rebound number five here tonight. Rummer passes to McCarty. Walker is screen on Thomas. Here's McCarty. Tony Kukoc comes up with the rebound. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Pass to McCarty. To the wing on the left. Here's Walker. That's good from 17 feet away. Walker's got 23 points. And you know, anytime Twan touches it, he is thinking one thing. Bucket. Johnson the screen. Here's Cassell. It's rebounded by McCarty. Celtics trail by three. The pass to Bremer. Outside, Walker launches a three. A rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Holly. Got a hand on it. Here's Bremer. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside, Walker. Now Johnson. Here's Holly. Out to the wing. Here's Cassell. And again, the Bucks miss. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Holly passes to Johnson. Shoots from 12. That one doesn't go. Walker with some nice D. Celtics trail by three. Here's Delp. He's got five. Bremer. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Really good job of creating just enough space to let that one fly. Ali passes to Thomas. Here's Cassell. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Cassell's got five points now this quarter. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Passes it to McCarty. Walker is screen on Thomas. 
Baker with the bucket. Baker's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. I mean, you can grab him, but Baker still finds a way to score even through the contact. Pass to Cassell. Johnson the screen. From the line. That is good off the back rim and in. Cassell's got 12. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong dick he lays there. The finish was nice, but the setup. was better yeah ga the pick working to full effect before the stuff and you know not enough help from the defense there to compensate he gets a clean look and that's exactly how you draw it up and the bucks decide to take their first time out here and some changes here for the bucks Gaffey, he's checked in for johnson red comes in for kukoc and allen subbed in for ollie austin also with the sub pierce is checked in Here's Cassell. He's got 12. <laughs> Tries from 10. And the shot is long. Austin's gone 3 of 5 beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Pass to Dell. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Wound up there for Allen. Here's Delp. He has five. And there's the pass to Bremer. Here's Delp. Passes to McCarty. Five to shoot. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. They now lead as the free throw drops for him. And he's good on the second. Makes all three. Bucks trail by three. Here's Cassell. He's got 12. The rebound by Pierce. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Yep, that one goes. Pierce has got the lead up to five now for Boston. Crafty move that time by Pierce, working himself around the contact to get a shot off. Cassell kicks to Allen. The shot's good. Cassell making the play. Cassell's got his sixth assist on the night. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Here's Pierce. Rebounded by the Bucks. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. Here's Cassell. Pass to Thomas. 
for the three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead change of six already. Pass to McCarty. It's Pierce on the wing. And the pass to Bremer. Just five to shoot. No good that time. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Red passes to Kassan. It's Allen on the wing. Passes it to Cassell. Bucks passing it around. The three. It's rebounded by McCarty. Austin's gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Pierce against Red. Goes up on the high post. Pierce could. Pierce has got four points this quarter. An excellent jump shot. Pierce doesn't need a lot of room to get that off. We've got 108 left now here on the second, and it goes down two points. And that's 17 points for Allen. Boston trailer. Now a timeout called by Boston. Well, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Boston making a switch here. Cars checked in. There's 57 seconds left here in the second. Here's Cassell. He's got 12. Allen outside. Pass to Cassell. Now red. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot's good. Cassell making the play. And now it's a three-point Bucks lead. That lefty stroke of him, Reds. Man, it might be. Well, it is one of the best in the league. Outside, Pierce. Here's Bremer. Back to Pierce. From downtown. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. Milwaukee has gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Here's Cassell. The tray. And it's What a way to end the half there, guys. Big time three to take the lead at the buzzer. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Bucks ahead, ending the second quarter with a 13-5 run. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Here's Bremer. Pass to Walker. Puts it up. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Cassell, outside Kukos. Oh, 
Johnson in the corner. Here's Allen. The rebound by the Celtics. Baker's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Knocked away. Red with the steal. Hey, Allen is on the way. Back to Red. It's up a three. Rebound, Boston. Johnson and block. That one goes careening off the glass. There's the pass to Bremer. Back to Walker. He kicks to Pierce. Takes a three. Can't hit that one. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Allen passes to Cassell. To the paint. Stolen away. Outside Pierce. Passes it to Bremer. And here's Pierce. They get a hand on it. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touched by Pierce. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. You can almost feel the mindset he has. I mean, when the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Here's Cassell. 15 points in the game. Pass to Allen. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Austin shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. The shot by Pierce will not go. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Pass to Cassell. Back to Allen. Just five on the clock. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. The Celtics have gone one of three since starting the second half. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Here's Walker, and Walker throws it down. Explosive move by Antoine Walker. Throwing it down with force. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Milwaukee making a switch here. Always checked in. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Michael Red on the wing. They could use a bucket. Rebound, Boston. Pierce has got four rebounds in this game. The pass to Bremer. Got a piece of it. Here's Ali. Outside, Kukos. They get it back. And Johnson with the stop. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail biter. Here's Bremer. And here's the break. Ali passes to Kukoc. Coach into the lane. Here's Johnson and slam dunk by Johnson. And he's now got the double double. Ten points and ten rebounds. Good to see a player going all out in the games this tight. You know, GA, he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. 
Bucks leading by three. Now here is Red. He's got seven. Shot from the top of the key. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, and you know, Red is a stealth sniper. I mean, somebody who operates well off of screens and has a quick release as well can get his own shot too. And he makes the first. Both free throws good from Red. Celtics trail by five. Pass to McCarty. Kicks to Walker. Fires the three. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Ollie. Pass to Red. Let's it go with the three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. For the long ball of Michael Red, the sweet shooting lefty, continuing to light it up from here. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. They've also found a lot of shots at the arc in this one and allowing their good shooters to tee it up. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid. and they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Here's Delk. Five points in the game. He kicks it to Walker. They need this. That's in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Pierce. Pierce has got 20 points. And Pierce knows how to get to his spots. And when he gets there, he knows how to convert. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Great activity level on the boards. Impressive. Wow. Dell for pass to Baker. Pass to McCarty. Now here's Walker. Here's with a screen for Walker. No good on the three. On offense, here are the Bucks. It's a 12 2 run here. Good pace. Here's Ollie. The pass to Cooper. Shot clock at five, and another basket for Milwaukee. And they are starting to pull away here as the shots continue to fall. Yeah, I agree with you. A big run taking place right now, and it looks to be the beginning of the end. Here's the pass to Dell. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Delk's got seven points. And his passing is probably the most underrated part of his game. Pierce is a terrific playmaker on that wing. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. 
do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Here's Ollie. Allen outside. Puts one up from 19. Offensive rebound. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. The Bucs have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Caffey, he's checked in for Kukoc. And Thomas subbed in for Michael Red. That's good from Johnson. So it's Boston now. Down by 12. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Here's Pierce. Ali grabs the board. Milwaukee's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Passes it to Thomas. Pope loose. Here's Delp. He has seven. Pass to McCarty. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 19 to 6 run. Here's Ollie. Pass to Thomas. Over McCarty. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Thomas got the lead up to 14 now for the Bucks. And I like the decision making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. You know, more and more big guys in the league have that mid-range shot in their bag now, and they need it. They grab their own miss, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. And sometimes Baker just too much for defenders, which is why this guy gets fouled so often. Austin shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. And Baker has proven to be an efficient scorer. Also, will hit the glass hard. A nightly double-double threat. Can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Bucks leading by 14. Outside Thomas. And there's the pass to Ollie. Back to Thomas. Fires the three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arc. And so Allen will bring it up now for Milwaukee. Inside. And then Thomas with the dunk. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Gazelle, he's checked in for the Bucks. Celtics trail by 19. Oh, 
So it's Boston now trying to get something going. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And we know Pierce has the jumper, but you can also pound it inside with him. The Celtics have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Here's it's two. Here's Cassell. He's got 15. To the middle. Here's Thomas. And then Thomas with the jam. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision excellent. Passes to McCarty. Pierce against Ollie. Thomas with the block. And that's out of bounds. Boston will return possession. Puts it up, off the inbound, and it's sent back by Allen. Thomas passes to Ollie. Over jump. Ollie, no good. Celtics trail by 19, outside Pierce. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Pierce has got six in the quarter. And Pierce always been great at just getting into the heart of the defense feels real comfortable when he's in attack mode around the rim here's Cassell 15 points in the game that shot is in just like six others have been for him. he's shooting seven for 15 big miscommunication on defense he recognizes it and quickly takes advantage boy the defense looks shell-shocked I mean they're on the ropes right now on their heels Pierce and the call on the shot that sends him to the line Hey, Allen picks one up. Not backing up or backing down. Pierce knows he's got to keep going after his shot when the defense is trying to be tight on him. The Celtics have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. Shooting two. Good from Pierce. Michael Reds checked in for Ali. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 124 left in the third quarter. Here's Cassell. 17 points in the game. Pass to Caffey. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Double team on Thomas. Five to shoot. Down low. Pick off in midair. Here's Delk. He's covered by Cassell. Dell can't get the ball to go down. Bucks leading by 17. Cazal the pass to Caffey. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Jason Caffey was a late first round pick in the 95 draft and has really been a solid contributor throughout his career. Milwaukee shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game.
That free throw missing. Walker's checked in for the Celtics. That one misses. Celtics trail by 17. Here's Delk. Seven points in the game. For three, Pierce. Rebound, Milwaukee. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. They set the pick. Cassell kicks to red. Lock at six, fades away. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Tell you what, fellas, he is fun to watch when he's working like that and getting to the hoop. And so it's Milwaukee with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. We'll take a quick break, and then back to the action here. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Here's Cassell. Pass to Red. No one near him. That falls. Great assist by Sam Cassell. Cassell's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. The pass to Dell. From past the arc. Kukoc grabs the miss. Kukoc has got four rebounds now tonight. Thomas passes to Cassell. Michael Red is on the wing. The three-pointer no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Outside Pierce. They set the screen. Delk the pass to Walker. They get it back. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Boy, Ben Baker really is a problem for the defense when he's locked in. I mean, solid at hitting the glass and does a good job on the offensive boards. Cassell gets the bucket. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Celtics trail by 20. Outside Pierce. Again, the Celtics good for two. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Cassell. Elbow shot is on the way. And another basket for Milwaukee. Sam Cassell, fun to watch when he gets it going on offense because he's confident and efficient. He can score the ball in a lot of ways. Now here's Pierce. Kukoc with the steal. Here's Cassell. Milwaukee making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. And the Celtics making a change here. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Boston Celtics. Pass to McCarty. Walker is screen on Thomas. McCarty knocks down the three ball. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make him pay. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Thomas a screen. Here's Cassell. Tries it from nine. And then Johnson with the dunk. 
And, you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. That's exactly why it's important to work hard on the offensive glass, fellas, for chances just like that. Connects from three-point range. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Here's Thomas. Headshot off. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Pass to Bremer. Here's McCarty. Walker with it. Seven-foot shot. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Kukoc with the defensive effort. Here's Cassell. He dishes it to Johnson. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Johnson. Here's Bremer. Pass to McCarty. To the left wing. Here's Walker. Rebounded by the Bucks. Reds got rebound number five here tonight. From six feet. Trying to get open is Johnson. Reds shot is right there. Reds got 20. And boy, does Red fill it up fast. He can be red hot at times, pun intended. Outside, Walker. Here's the screen. Shoots the three. Boston again missing. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. Here's Cassell. Walker with the rebound. Here's McCarty. Back to Walker. The three. It's good from long range. Walker's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Celtics. Here's Cassell. Offensive rebound. Thomas dishes to Kukoc. And to get open is Johnson. Misses from short range. Celtics trail by 17. Here's McCarty. Red with the steal. Here's Cassell. Thomas a screen. Just five to shoot. Ray Allen, he's checked in for the Bucks. Here's Kukoc. Allen up top. The 19-foot shot. And then Johnson with the dunk. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Now the pass to Walker. Here's Dell. Goes back up. And the layup is good. Baker's got four points now in the quarter. Fantastic work from the big fella inside. Baker's teammates know he can do damage in there. Passes it to Red. Fires for three. The shot's good. Cassell making the play. And the Bucks lead by 20. 
Uh, I'm willing to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Cassell looking for Allen against it there. And slam dunk by Allen. Allen taking it all the way to the rim. Hand delivering that one. Doorstep throw down. Here's Bremer, who's covered by Cassell. Hits the three-point bomb. Walker's got 40 points. That is his shot, guys. So you can't just give it to him. You've got to get up on him and get into his airspace there. Cassell, the pass to Allen. Over Delk. Rebounded by the Celtics. Pass to Baker. Shoots from 12. The first one falls. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Bucks leading by 18. Allen passes to Cassell. Back to Allen. Shoots over Walker. Again, Allen missing. Boston's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. Spins. Rummer passes to McCarty. Kicks it to Walker. Just five on the clock. They set the pick. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Here's Bremer. And another miss by Boston. Milwaukee's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. To the inside. And it's Johnson that time on the assist from Cassell. 23 points for Johnson. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shot, that lead's going to expand. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. Boy, terrific play there. I thought even with all the contact, he still was going to get that shot to go down. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. The Celtics making a switch here. Pierce has checked in. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Milwaukee leading by 20. Here's Cassell. Allen outside. And here is Red. On the wing. And it's Kukoc with the jam. You know, you can't afford to forget about Kukoc's length on the glass. I mean, he'll hurt you with it when you let him. Here's against Red. The shot's good. Pierce has got 14 points here in the second half. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Here's Cassell. Puts the move on. And he lays it up and in. Cassell's got six points in the quarter. They're taking it right into the teeth 
of the defense, and, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. Now here's Pierce, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Michael Red. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And some changes here for the Bucks. Gaffey comes in for Tony Kukoc. And Ollie subbed in for Allen. And both free throws good for Paul Pierce. Bucks leading by 20. Here's Ollie. One forty-three left in the game. Pass to Caffey. Inside. Goes up to the stripe. Rejected by Pierce. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Bucks. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And asserting themselves up front here, guys. They'll be taking the front end Shoot of a four-game season series between these two. They, they've got to feel good about getting the upper hand tonight against the Celtics. And a team's depth is always a factor in games like this. And what a tremendous game. Maybe even a, a bit of a surprise to see the numbers for Johnson. Now, he was a problem on the glass today. Relentlessly crashing the boards and came away with a bushel basket full of rebounds. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Thomas comes in for Johnson, and it's Allen in for Michael Red. Pierce hits two. 110 left to play here in the fourth. And the pass to Caffey. Now Allen passes it to Cassell. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Caffey. He can't get that one, and it's Boston the other way. Delp the pass to Bremer. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Pierce. And it's blocked. They retain possession. A shot by Bremer, no good. Here's Ollie. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. Yeah, I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.